The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom my soul delights. I've sent my spirit upon him. He will bring fair judgment to the nations. He does not cry out or raise his voice. His voice is not heard in the street. He does not break the crushed reed or snuff the faltering wick. Faithfully, he presents fair judgment. He will not grow faint. He will not be crushed until he has established fair judgment on earth and the coast and islands are waiting for his instruction. I, Yahweh, have called you in saving justice. I've grasped you by the hand and shaped you. I've made you a covenant of the people and light to the nations to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. And our response is taken from Psalm 29. Give Yahweh his due, sons of God. Give Yahweh his due of glory and strength. Give Yahweh the glory due his name. Adore Yahweh in the splendor of holiness. Yahweh's voice over the waters, the God of glory thunders. Yahweh over countless waters. Yahweh's voice in power, his voice in splendor. His voice convulses terabiths, strips forests bare, and in his palace all cry glory. Yahweh was enthroned in the flood, and Yahweh is enthroned forever. In our second reading, from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter addressed them. I now really understand, he said, that God has no favorites, but that anybody of any nationality who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. God sent his word to the people of Israel, and it was to them that the good news of peace was brought by Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of all. You know what happened all over Judea, how Jesus of Nazareth began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then Jesus appeared. He came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. John tried to dissuade him with the words, It is I who need baptism from you, and yet you come to me. But Jesus replied, Leave it like this for the time being. It is fitting that we should, in this way, do all that uprightness demands. Then John gave in to him, and when Jesus had been baptized, he at once came up from the water, and suddenly the heavens opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming down on him. And suddenly there was a voice from heaven, This is my Son, the Beloved. My favor rests on him. The Gospel of the Lord.